Hey guys, Mindy B. 123 here with you today. I'm going to show you how to flash the newest 4.4.2 uh, KitKat version with TouchWiz to your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now, the one that I'm going to show you how to flash today is not the official one from AT&T, but it is the official one for the International Galaxy Note 2 LTE. The uh, model number on that one is N7105, whereas the uh, AT&T version is I317. Um, so it's not the official one. Today's May the 13th, and I believe that they're saying by the end of May that uh, the official one is going to come from AT&T. But the problem with that one is, is it's got so much bloat and so much junk. Um, I would rather run the one that, that I'm going to show you how to run today. Um, so I'm going to show you how to flash this. You'll have, uh, you'll have TouchWiz and KitKat on your phone. And the main reason for that is, is for you people who, who really use your stylus. Um, I've, been, I've been using PDAs for a long time. And whenever I was back just in my PDA days, I used stylus a whole lot. I don't know why now with my Galaxy Note 2, I just don't use my stylus much, but I know there's a lot of you who do. So I'm going to show you how to get KitKat on your phone and have TouchWiz so that you can use this stylus. Okay, so over here on the computer, I'm going to show you the things that you need to download. First thing is, is uh, this this is the guy right here on XDA. I have no idea how he pronounces this or what this means, but Easy Dub Zit MK4. Um, this is the guy who took that international ROM and made it where we can flash it to our phones. Um, so this is this is the thread. I'll have a link in the description to all of these XDA threads and to, to the other place where you're going to download something else. So this says beta right here, EasyCat beta, but it is, it's working great. Uh, everything on my phone is rock solid. As you can see here, there's 23 pages, and it's just one report after another of people saying that it's just working great on their phones. So I don't feel like this really is a beta. It may be a beta in the sense that he's not put a whole lot of time into it, but he took a base, the international um, note uh, version ROM that's that's rock solid in the first place. So that's that's why it works so good already. So the first thing you're going to need to download is this file right here, and it's a pretty large file. I think it's like 1.1 gigabytes. So you're going to begin download on that. It's 1.1 gigabytes. I've already downloaded that, and I've already put it on my phone. So let, that's the first step you need to do as, as you do this. So let me just show you. See if I can find the file manager here. I haven't used this much. Here we go. Uh, I think it's there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so I've already downloaded that huge file, 1.1 gigabytes, and I've already put it onto the internal uh, memory of my phone. So if you just want to download that on your phone so that it'll just store it on there so you don't have to worry about transferring it over, that'd be easier. But you can also just download that to your computer, plug in your cable, and just drag and drop and put this over onto your phone memory. Okay, so that's one thing we need to do. The other thing we need to do is have a custom recovery. So let me show you what we're going to do for that. First thing you need to do is download the Odin flashing program. I'll have a link to this. You want to download download this Odin version 3.07. Click on the word here. It'll download it. In fact, let me just do that. It'll download it uh, just a little over megabyte. So pretty small file there. Okay, then the other thing you're going to, need to download is the actual customer cover, and we're going to be using TWRP today. So I'll have a link here, scroll down to the bottom, and you may be watching this later, and they may update this, so there may be a newer number, but I'm downloading the one that says 2.7.0.1, and I want the one that ends in .tar, .tar, okay? So we're going to download that, and that's a fairly small file. I think it's 6, 7, 8 megabytes, something like that. Uh, let me just see here real quick. Yeah, 6.3 megabytes. So that's a pretty small file also. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and re-download that. I've already got all this downloaded, but I'm going to go ahead and download it and just go through through the steps with you here. So while that's downloaded, I'm going to clean some of this stuff off here so it won't give me any kind of errors or any kind of warnings. Okay, so I'm going to take this Odin 3.0.7. I'm going to put that out on my desktop. 
So it's a dot zip. So what I want to do first of all is open that up and then I'm going to drag this folder out of there and put it out on my desktop. All right. The other thing is, is I'm going to take this open recovery and I'm going to put it out on my desktop as well. And just, just so I can find them easy. It doesn't have to be in my desktop. I'm just doing that because it makes it a little bit easier. Okay. So now that I've got all that downloaded, put it where it needs to be. I've got the, the actual ROM, that 1.1 gigabyte file in my phone. I've got the Odin flashing program and the open recovery downloaded on my computer. I'm going to open up this Odin 307 uh, folder. I'm going to click on this .exe. Click yes. And then it's going to open up this, uh, this Odin program. Now over on my phone, I need to turn this completely off. So I'm going to power it off. Just waiting for this to completely go off. Okay, now I want to put my phone into download mode, okay? So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to push volume down, home, and then power. I'm going to be pushing all three of those. Push volume down and home first, then push power and hold all three of those. Then let go of all three of them at the same time, and it's going to bring me into this menu. So I'm going to push volume up to continue, and now we're into downloading mode. Okay, so, so what I'm going to do now with the Odin program on my computer and my phone in download mode, I'm going to plug this in. And then you can see over here on my computer, before there was nothing lighting up on any of these bars here. Now it shows, there's a color here and it shows COM18. So that means it's reading my phone on a port. If your phone, um, if your computer doesn't show this up, it's probably because you do not have the proper drivers installed on your computer. The easiest way to get those drivers is to download the Samsung Keys, that's K-I-E-S program. Download that, uh, that program to your computer from Samsung, install it, and it'll put the, the right drivers on there. And just make sure that if you do that, that once you get that all installed, that you definitely close Samsung Keys down before you try to start this process because it'll interfere with it. But if you don't, if that doesn't show up, that's how to get those drivers. So I'm good to go. It's reading my phone and it knows... That, that my phone is connected on a, on a port here. So, so what I'm gonna do is go over to the PDA button, click on PDA, and I'm gonna go and find that open recovery that I just threw out on my desktop. So this open recovery TWRP 2.7.0.1, the one that ends in .tar. Okay, so I'm gonna open that up into the PDA slot here. My phone's added, ready to go everything. I'm gonna push start, and it's gonna flash that custom recovery to my phone. And very small file, it'll take just five seconds there to be able to flash that. Now back over on my phone, you can see that it's rebooting now, okay? So that means it flashed it, everything went through good. So at this point, I can go ahead and unplug my phone. And I'm going to wait for this to boot up here, and then we're going to power back down and boot up into our custom recovery. So... Take just a second here and then I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, so power it on. Now I'm going to turn it back off. So power off. I'm going to let it power down. All right, it's dead. Now, second ago to put it in download mode, we push volume down, home, and power. To put it in custom recovery or into our recovery, we're going to do volume up, home, and power. So the only difference is, is it's going from volume down to volume up now. So volume up, home, then push the power button, hold all three of those. Continue holding those, and it'll bring us up into our custom recovery. It's going to say team win in just a second here. Okay, once it gets to there, you can let go. Whoops. Okay, first thing you want to do is to do a backup so that it'll back up where you were at. So go into backup and you're going to swipe to backup. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that. But you'll want to make a backup of, of where you're at before. And that way, if you have problems, which you're probably not, I mean, everything's working fine on this. But if you do have problems, it'll be easy to flash back uh, to, to where you were at. 
So swipe to make a backup and uh, just depending on what you have installed on your phone and what, what's on there, that may take, may take a while. It may take three or four minutes or it may take six or seven minutes. Um, but do that first. Okay, once you make the backup, now we're going to go to wipe. And first of all, I'm going to swipe to do a factory reset. So all my apps, um, the way I have my home screen set up, all that kind of stuff is about to go away. So I usually do two factory uh, resets here. Go back and now I want to go to advanced wipe. And I'm going to go Dalvik Cache, Cache, System, and Data. Okay? Dalvik Cache, Cache, System, and Data. And we're going to clean that off. Okay, let's go ahead and do that twice for good measure. I know a lot of people say once you do it once, it doesn't matter, but I usually do it twice for good measure. All right, so now we're going to go back, push the back button back again, and now we're going to go to install. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find that file that I put on my phone earlier, that 1.1 gigabyte file, this EasyCat 4.4.2 beta dot zip. Okay, so I went into install, find that file wherever you put it at. So once we've got that, we're going to swipe to confirm flash. And it's going to take, take a few minutes for it to be able to flash all that to it. So just let that go. Once that gets done, we're, we're going to be done. We'll reboot, and I'll show you that we're going to be at 4.4.2 KitKat with TouchWiz uh, built into it. Okay, so there you go. It's flashed through, says successful, everything went good. So I'm just going to reboot system now and let it go through the through the booting up process. Again, this is this is going to be brand new on our phone, so it's going to take a little while for it to boot up to go through all all the initial setup stuff. So this may take a few minutes to get through here also. Okay. So that did take a few minutes there, so don't get impatient with that. And uh, I'm just going to skip through all this that I can right now. Just want to show you that. Okay, so we're running on KitKat, and just to prove that there is TouchWiz, I'll take out my S10. And you would not have that functionality if you did not have TouchWiz. You could not open these, these Samsung apps like that, and especially a screenshot like that. Wouldn't work if I didn't have TouchWiz built into it. So there you go, and the, the cool thing about this ROM is you don't have all the AT&T junk. I mean, if you want my AT&T, you can go into the Play Store and download that, but you don't have all that stuff built in. Um, so I do want to say this before I close. This is this is not the official one from AT&T, but it is an official ROM from Samsung. So it's going to be rock solid, but if you want to wait three or four more weeks or whatever it is, you can just get the official update from AT&T and not have to worry about going through these steps, okay? So, um, well, that's what it is. Um, I've been running this on my phone for a day now. I know that's really not long enough to, to say for sure, but it's been rock solid for me. I've had no problems with it. It's been a, been a, a real 
uh, smooth running ROM, Every, everything works fine, Wi-Fi and GPS, everything is, is running like it's supposed to. So there you go, thanks for watching today.